In this video, I'm gonna show you how to increase or improve your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 1. In this tutorial, we're gonna trick the in-game settings, some Epic Games launcher settings, and we're gonna optimize your PC for gaming. So make sure to watch till the end and don't skip any steps. And let's start. So the first step is to click on the link in the description and download Max Utilities. Once you click on the link, it should take you to this website. What you want to do now is click on download now, click again on download now and wait for the program to be finished downloading. Once it's done, click on it, click on run, click on yes, click on next, accept the agreement, next, next, and next, click on yes, next and next install it should be done pretty quickly and there it is now what you want to do is click on finish and wait for it to open up once you open this application click on one click optimization and wait for it to finish it should be done pretty quickly and as you can see your system has been partially cleaned because this is the free version you can click on continue or click on purchase online to buy this application which is pretty useful and it says that it found 21 registry issues, uh, 497 megabytes of Windows history, 3.38 gigabytes of leftover items, which are just basically taking up space. And it found seven startup programs. It's a pretty useful application, which has some other features like performance and it can clean your registry, compact your registry, optimize windows or boost your windows startup. So if you click on optimize windows, just drag this to high priority and click on apply. Now click on the home button and click on boost your windows startup. As you can see, all of my startup programs are disabled. If it says enabled, then just click on the off button, click on refresh and the changes have been saved automatically. Go to the privacy tab and here you can clean your windows history, clear your browsing history, clear third party software traces or bleach disks. And in the recovery tab, you can restore registry backups or uninstall unused software. It's a pretty useful app and I think it's worth the money that you're going to spend to buy it because it has the one click optimization feature, which is very good. Once you're done with this application and once you have optimized your PC, you can close it. And now let's move on to the second step. The second step is to click on the other link in the description and download the Fortnite 11 boost FPS pack. And once you download it and unzip it on your desktop, click on the search bar and type percent app data percent and open it now click on app data at the top open the local folder open fortnite game folder open the saved folder config windows client and now what you want to do is open the fortnite fps boost pack once you open it Click on config and here you can either choose high end or low end settings. I would advise you going with the low end settings because this will just give you more FPS. Once you open the folder, you'll see the engine configuration settings, game user settings and scalability. Now just copy all of them from the FPS boost pack and paste them into the Windows client folder. Click on replace the files in the destination. Wait for it to be done. And once it's done, you can just close the Windows client folder. The next step is to go back to the Fortnite 11 Boost FPS pack and open the optimizations folder. Now open the Fortnite priority folder. And what you want to do now is just click, double click on Fortnite high priority. Click on yes. It says, are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes. And the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry. Click on OK. If Fortnite starts to crash after this fix, then what you want to do is just go back to this Fortnite Boost FPS pack and just double click on Fortnite Normal Priority and this will set Fortnite as it was. Once you're done with this step, go back to the Optimizations folder and now double click on Fortnite X Custom Launcher. So open it up. Now open the folder with the letter of the drive where you have Fortnite installed. So for example, Fortnite is installed on my D drive. So I'm gonna open the D drive install folder and now what you want to do is right click on the taskbar and open the task manager. 
go to the performance tab and as you can see I have 6 cores and 12 logical processors. So the logical processors is the same as threads. So I'm gonna open the folder with 6 cores and 12 threads. And there it is. So I'm gonna open it up. And now what you want to do is just copy the shortcut and paste it on your desktop. And from now on whenever you want to play Fortnite just open it up using this shortcut. Once you're done you can close the task manager and go back to the optimizations folder in the FPS boost pack. Open the GPU settings folder now and right click on your desktop. Click on Nvidia control panel. Now click on manage 3D settings. Make sure that the high performance Nvidia processor is set as your preferred graphics processor. And now open the first image. Once you open it, what you want to do is just basically copy all of the settings from the image on in your Nvidia control panel. Once you're done with the first image, just go ahead and open the second one and copy the rest of the settings. Once you're done, just click on apply in the Nvidia control panel. Wait for the settings to be applied and you can then just close the Nvidia control panel. The next step is to go back to the optimizations folder and open the ISLC folder. Now double click on intelligence standby list cleaner and click on yes. Now click on the arrow in the bottom right corner. Find the intelligence standby list cleaner logo. There it is and click on it and it should open up. Now click on stop if it's already working. Check the enable custom timer resolution box and set the wanted timer resolution to 0.50. Now set the list size is at least to 1024 megabytes and set the free memory is lower than 8196 megabytes if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM or set it to 4096 megabytes if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Once you're done, click on Purge Standby List and click on Start. You can now close the application. The next step is to go back to the Optimizations folder and open the CCleaner Setup. Click on Yes, uncheck the Yes Install CCleaner Browser box and click on Install. Click on Run CCleaner, now click on the Registry tab Make sure that all of these are selected and click on scan for issues. And now wait for it to finish. Once it's done, click on fix selected issues, click on no and click on fix all selected issues. Once it's done, it should say issue fixed, click on close. And you can now close the CCleaner application. The next step is to open the NVIDIA Profile Inspector application. And now click on where it says Profiles and type Fortnite. Now select it from the list and this should open up. What you want to do now is set the frame rate limiter mode to frame rate limiter control delay flip by flip metering. So just up, open up the list and select it from the list. There it is. Once you select it, click on Apply Changes and you can then close the NVIDIA Profile Inspector application. The next step is to double click on Park Control Setup 64, click on Yes, click on OK, I agree, Next, Install and wait for it to finish. Once it's done it should automatically open up. Now click on where it says CPU settings for power profile and select Bitsum highest performance from the list. Make sure that all of these are set at 100% and once you're done click on Apply. It should say new settings have been applied, click on OK and click on OK again. The next step is to click on quick CPU setup, click on next, accept the terms, next, next, install and wait for it to finish. Click on yes, click on finish, click on yes again and it should open up.
Now click on where it says system power plan and select Bitsum highest performance. Once you're done, make sure that all of these are set at 100%. So the core parking index, frequency scaling index and the turbo boost index. Once you're done, click on apply. It should say changes successfully applied. Click on OK and click on close. Now double click on registry editor tweak. Click on yes. It says are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes again. And the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry. Click on OK. The next step is to right click on Windows Deep Loader and click on Run with PowerShell. If you can't see this option here, then click on Open with and select PowerShell from this list. I'm gonna click on Run with PowerShell and this should open up. Now click on Remove all bloatware and wait for the script to finish. Once it's done, it should say finished all tasks and you can now close the Windows PowerShell. The next step is to go back to the Fortnite 11 Boost FPS pack and open the Ultimate Performance mode. Once you open it, click on the search bar and type CMD, right click on the command prompt and click on Run as Administrator. Click on yes. Now copy the command from the ultimate performance mode notepad file and paste it in CMD. Click on enter and the ultimate performance mode has been enabled. You can now close the command prompt and click on the search bar again. Type edit power plan and open it. Now click on power options and select the ultimate performance mode from the list. Once you select it, you can close the power options and you can close the notepad file. The next step is to open the launch options notepad file which is in the boost pack and what you want to do is just copy this command and paste it in the epic games launcher. Just make sure that you change the preferred processor number to the number of CPU cores that you have. And you can find this by going to task manager performance tab, CPU, and look for how many logical processors you have. That's the number that you should enter right here. Once you're done with this step, you can close the Fortnite FPS boost pack and now open this PC. So click on the search bar, type this PC and open it up. Now open the driver where you have Fortnite installed at. Go to local disk C, open the program files x86 folder, Open the Epic Games folder, open the Fortnite folder, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. And now scroll down until you find these four applications. So the Fortnite client Win64 shipping, shipping BE, shipping EAC and the Fortnite launcher. What you want to do now is just right click on the first one. Click on properties. Go to the compatibility tab. And make sure that the disable full screen optimizations box is checked. And once you check it, click on change high DPI settings and check the override high DPI scaling behavior. Scaling performed by application. Once you're done, click on OK, click on apply and click on OK again. Now do the same steps for the rest of the applications. So shipping B, shipping EAC and the Fortnite launcher. Once you're done, you can close the Windows 64 folder. And the last step is to update your drivers. And you can do that by going to the NVIDIA GeForce drivers website and download the GeForce Experience application with, which automatically keeps your drivers up to date and your games super optimized. If you have an AMD graphics card, then go to the AMD website, scroll down to the bottom and download Auto Detect and install Radeon graphics drivers for Windows. So click on don't download now and this will automatically update your drivers. And if you have an Intel graphics card, then go to the Intel website, click on get started where it says automatically update your drivers and download the Intel driver and support assistant. Click on download now, and this will also automatically update your drivers. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.